When you don't need her to like you, she's going to be chasing you. And that's True. really that's what it comes down to. In this video, we're going to be looking at the subtleties that ruin attraction. Actually, this is going to be a series of videos. We're going to be doing three on this. And the first one today is going to be on neediness, how men uh, convey neediness. We're going to try to convey that through a demonstration with a beautiful Aria. And uh, Aria is going to be the, the poor subject of me acting and feeling needy. And so hopefully this conveys on camera and it doesn't make her feel too creepy. So we're going to do that in a few minutes. The next video is going to be on cocky, uh, on how guys can be too cocky and push it too far. A little cocky can be fun at times, yeah. but when a guy takes it too far, how it tends to push women away. Our last video in the series is gonna be on being physically creepy. You know, when guys touch too much and their touch is just off and it's wrong. And this might be the hardest one to convey on camera, but we're gonna do our best to convey good touch that women enjoy that relaxes them versus creepy touch that makes them wanna run the other direction. So uh, with that said, let's get started. You ready, Aria? Yes, I am. Awesome. The first thing we're gonna take a look at is needy. What, is a ne what does needy energy really look like? Because as we say here at Fearless, that you're actually usually pushing women away because women really do wanna meet men. They wanna meet nice guys, friendly guys, guys that are cool, that are fun. So most of the time when you're out, you're actually telling women to stay away from you. You're doing it through your subcommunication and through your energy. What does that look like? We're gonna to try to convey that today through the camera because it's very subtle stuff. You can say all the right things, you can move in all the right ways, stand like a cool guy, but if you don't, got, if you don't have this subcommunication working in, in the right way, it's still gonna push the women away. So how often do you run into needy guys, Aria? Um, I wouldn't say like super often, but pretty often. Yeah, it's, it's a fairly common thing yeah. out there today, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Um, there's so many guys out there that really are looking for validation from girls and their thinking and their feelings and their emotions are inside are saying when they walk up to the girl, please like me, please like me, please give me validation back. And this is one of the most common problems I see out there uh, in guys working on meeting girls. And I, it just, I think personally, it just drives women nuts. And it's so obvious to women and we guys don't get it. So what does this look like? Um, well, first off, let's, we need something for comparison. If I was to walk up and just casually, let's say we're somewhere, anywhere, we're, it's a relaxed environment, there's no pressure, and I just say hi, and I just enjoy her and relax. Hi. It's, it's a nice, hey, what's your name? Where are you from? It, it, unless she's in a bad mood or there's a problem, she's probably gonna talk to me, right? Yeah. Nothing, nothing, nothing weird about that. I'm not trying to do anything. I'm not trying to make anything happen. Um, I'm not trying to flow. Now, if I'm needy and I, I have to get into this state, I have to get in the needy state. I have to want something from her. And I walk over to her and I'm just like, I, I'm at a bar or a restaurant or uh, I'm at a art gallery, whatever. And this is what I'll do. Um, hi. Um, what, what's your name? My name's Brian. Um, oh, you got, you got beautiful eyes, by the way. Mm, what? <laughs> see, how, see how she's not even saying anything back? What would you actually say in that? She's having fun with me because she knows me. But what would you actually say to a guy that did that? Um, actually, I would say like, I would, my whole body would be like, you know, okay, I'm Maria. But I would be like, my whole, my voice would be like, I'm Maria. Like being skeptical about me sharing my name with you. Yeah. Like I would like closing off. I wouldn't want to was I, What was I doing that caused you to pull back? What did it feel like to you? What did it look like? I felt that lingering of attention. I don't know. That's how it felt. So like, okay, now you say something. I'm here. Like, There's the needy part. Now you say something. You yeah. say something. I said something to you. You have to say something back. Okay. Yeah. That's okay. how it felt. And did you, did, what, what did my eyes feel like? Uh, constantly with a question mark, like um, they're searching for something. Okay, and that's exactly it. There's a question mark in my eyes because literally that's what I was feeling in my body. I was saying with my subcommunication, my thoughts in my head and creating the feeling of please say something back to me internally. And then I was letting my subcommunication play it out through my nervous system. Um, I do this a lot with clients because I watch clients do this stuff and I have to mimic their body language and then do it with the model so they can see it. And then they're like, is that what I'm doing? You know, and I, yes. And then other, that, usually the model will go, that's exactly what you're doing. <laughs> and um, so I'm gonna do it again. And this time react 
the way you would really react. If I walked up to, let's say we're at a, let's say we're at a really casual art gallery. Yeah. It's a showing, and I just say hi to you. It wouldn't be totally different, but I will be even more into that state of mind. Okay, okay, perfect. I'm getting in state, by the way. Me too. <laughs> oh, hi, how are you doing? My name is Brian. Hi, hi, my name is Ari. So, so what do you, what do you think of the painting? Um, pretty nice. Do, do you, do you, do you like it? It's, good. Um, it's pretty good, huh? I like the color, right? Yeah, it's, yeah, it's cool. Yeah, I'm here with some friends. Nice. Do, do you feel her pull away when I do that? <laughs> Literally, I pull away. <laughs> what and what? What is going on with you? What's what do you feel inside your body? Um, it's more of a danger zone, and I'm like not danger, but like yeah, it doesn't feel comfortable for me, and I, and, I, and my whole body like wants, wants, to... wants to take back. Okay. And in contrast, and then one more time, really quick. In contrast, the Jimmy just walking up. Seeing you, enjoying you, saying, hey, how you doing? I actually stuttered on that one. Hold on. I'll do it again. So me walking up and saying, hey, how you doing? My name is Brian. My name is Arya. Yeah. What do, you, what do you think of the painting? Oh, they're pretty cool. Nice. <laughs> pretty decent, yeah. And this is it right here, where I'm actually just enjoying the eye contact. And this is the key part, is I'm enjoying her through my body. I'm witnessing her. And I'm relaxing. Did that feel different to you? Definitely. I I felt safe. I felt like you were kind of curious about me. So yeah, it was enjoyable. And you'll still get sometimes pauses and reactions because they're reading you a little bit. They're taking you in. <laughs> is this guy? Who's this guy? What is it? But that's not necessarily a rejection. No. And you also don't have to be perfect. A lot of you guys think you have to be perfect. So if I walk up and I'm on, I'm like, hey, how you doing? And then I kind of get nervous for a sec, but then I relax again. Like I got nervous for a sec. And I'm like, I just, just wanted to meet you. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Um, so, uh, so what do you think of the painting? <laughs> it's cool. cool. So do you see how I'm playing nervous now? It's and so it actually sweet. almost works better, doesn't it? Yeah, it was so sweet. I loved it. <laughs> and so I was allowing myself to be affected by her without wanting anything in return. And that's the difference. What do you think makes men needy and why do you think it's so hard for them to just let it go? Um, it's the need for validation, is the anxiety, fear, um, the fear of rejection, because kind of everyone has that. Yeah. Um, so many, a lot. A lot of things may go through the mind or the soul of a person when they approach another girl, a girl. And uh, a lot of it has to do, in my opinion, it's just self-worth, self-esteem. It's a lot of it has to do with how you feel about yourself. And as you resolve that, what you guys are gonna realize is the neediness is gonna go away. And you're gonna really, when you don't need her to like you, she's gonna be chasing you. And that's True. really that's what it comes it down to. <laughs> when you can offer, and this is the key, when I can just come up and be having fun, whether she likes me or not, I can be having fun in my own nervousness and my own fear. Like I could be nervous, Oh my God, does she like me, does she not? But I kind of think it's cool at the same time that I'm nervous because she makes me nervous and I don't need her to validate me. And I just offer, hey, come come join me in this. I'm having a good time. Come join me in this fun. She's going to really enjoy that. But if I need her to tell me I'm good enough, she's going to want to get away from me. It's that simple. It doesn't matter if you have the perfect line, the perfect routine, the perfect stance, the, the fat wallet full of money. It doesn't matter. She's still gonna want to get away from it. Yeah, true. So, is there anything you want to add to that? Um, no. Awesome. You, you kind of said it all. <laughs> okay, guys. So, I really enjoyed doing this video with you and doing it with the beautiful Aria. Um, so, remember, if you like this video, to subscribe to the channel, give us a thumbs up or a like, and to comment in the video. Uh, we really get a lot of these videos from what you guys write in the comments. We respond to almost every comment. And if you got a question about anything in the video, we will be glad to get back to you and answer it. So please join us next week for the next in our video series. This video is gonna be on being overly cocky and how that pushes women away. And then of course, the last video in the series is going to be on being physically creepy. So those next two videos are gonna be valuable if you think you might be doing that at all. So with that said, also remember, only the confident really live. See you in the next video.